Nope, not clickbait. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And I know that it's been a little bit since I've uploaded a video. I am well aware. Uh, some changes. If you read the thumbnail or the title of the video, uh, you already know, but it's actually, it, it is sort of clickbait because I've already left California. Where in this video, we're gonna get into why I left California, where I went, what I'm doing, what's going on with uh, the motorcycle situation, because I'm a little bit frustrated with that at the moment. Uh, but also, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know where I'm at, and it's someplace a little familiar. But before we get into that, let's talk about why I left California. Number one, there's a lot of people leaving California. Matter of fact, when we were leaving the state, coming back, we were stopped by Border Patrol leaving California. And the Border Patrol agent told me that uh, he's about one out of every four or five cars is leaving the state of California. Now, I could come on here and I could say all these multitude of reasons that everybody else is talking about as far as to why they are leaving California. None of those really applied to the reason that I left, we left, the whole family left California. Um, I will say and denote this by saying that I will still be traveling back to Orange County, California for one week out of every month uh, to film with our clients there. We've got film projects, we've got client projects, marketing projects, all kinds of video production stuff and film stuff going on that I'll have to be there for. So. I'll still be traveling back and forth to California about one week out of every month. But uh, the whole thing really started several months ago. And I started realizing that, you know, I, I don't have to live in California for my business. I can live anywhere uh, that I want to live. And look, I've talked about it in some videos before. California is a very expensive place to live. Um, I can afford it. Uh, but again, that's like we've talked about motorcycles and stuff like that. And just because you can afford something doesn't mean that it's the right thing to do or the thing that you should do. And I love the beach. I love the water. I love the lifestyle in California. However, sometimes you do what's best for everybody as a collective and not necessarily what it is that you want to do. My whole family and I started kind of realizing that there were things that we were missing. Uh, in our life. we I worked all the time. There's this thing, my wife talks about it all the time. In California, there's like this vibration that you have to go, 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 go all the time, 24-7. And for me, I, that means work. When I'm going, 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 I, I am, I, I'm working. So I really, I was already a workaholic, but then it's kind of turned me into even a bigger workaholic. So some of you, you know, you know what that's like, you know what I'm what I'm talking about. And like, for example, I am I'm a huge, huge football fan, huge NFL football fan. Uh, for 20 something years, every Sunday, it's NFL Sunday at our house, big screen TV, pizza, cheese dip, the whole thing. The entire over two years I was in California, I didn't watch not one single NFL football game from beginning to end. Why? It's that vibration thing. You feel like you're supposed to be busy. Um, another thing that kind of, and I know, look, guys, this video is going to kind of be all over the place, and, and I, I'm sorry for that, but I, I wanted to explain what's going on, why I haven't been uploading uh, when my plan was to upload regularly. But when we first moved to California, uh, we got the perfect house, what we we absolutely loved, and we were renting there because we didn't know exactly where we wanted to buy, so we wanted to rent for a little while. And we loved our, our home. About nine months, 10 months into living, uh, the, the guy who manages the property for the guy that owned the house uh, called and said something he would never, said he would never call and say, and that is the owner of the house wanted to sell the house because the property values in California are going through the roof. He wanted to cash in, he wanted to sell the house. So, that put us in a scramble. It's very difficult finding a place to live in California, whether you're renting or buying. Those of you that are in California, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you that have tried to move to California, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's, it's difficult. We ended up finding a place. It's a place that was very quirky and had an ocean view. It was beautiful. Those, again, those of you that followed me on Instagram, you've seen it. 
Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably should. Somewhere down here, we'll put something. Um, but we loved that aspect of it for a little while. Then we realized we didn't really like the layout at all. And I, doing the NASCAR documentary, producing it last year, I was gone every Thursday through Sunday, somewhere around the country at a NASCAR race. So I was gone. I was experiencing all the things that we missed about home, which was Nashville, Tennessee, the different seasons, the different weather, the, the rain, different things like that. Well, I was getting to experience all of that because I was going all over the country in different environments and traveling and getting out and, and doing other things while my family was basically at home. Um, they weren't getting to leave. They weren't getting to experience everything that I was experiencing, and they started missing home. Um, and then they came to me about eight, nine months ago and said, is there a possibility that we might could go somewhere else? Um, we looked at Washington. We looked at Texas. We even looked at Ohio. Uh, we looked at upstate New York. Uh, we looked in Pennsylvania. We looked everywhere and we kept talking about this feeling of home. We miss the familiar, we miss all of these different things, and we finally came to a conclusion, and that is, uh, why are we fighting the thing of going home, Nashville? Well, there's a lot to unpack there, and for those of you that know me or have been a part of this channel or the podcast or my social media for a long time, you know I was a very successful songwriter and music producer here in Nashville, for about 20 years before I got into to filmmaking uh, and producing films and, and all of that. I, I was in the music business and I was very successful at it. Um, but the music business is like a drug. So I will tell you, I had to leave California to let that person, that side of me, who I was, die completely. We couldn't have stayed in Nashville because I would have felt that draw to come back in. I, I saw it coming five, six, seven years ago. The music business is over. So when we started talking about going back to Nashville, everybody was a little hesitant to, to, to really bring it up to me because they were worried about me. If we go back to Nashville, am I going to get sucked back into writing songs and producing records and getting back into that whole scene? What they didn't know at the time was that it had been enough time that that guy, he was gone. He's dead. I had no interest in being in the music business anymore. I, I did it at a very high level for a very long time. And that bug is not biting me anymore. So after looking and cussing and discussing and doing all that, we decided to come home. So here we are, back in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee, our home. Um, like I said, I'm still going to have to go back and forth to California. I'll be out there about a week out of the month and we'll be shooting tons of content out there that we'll be uploading on the channel. But that's why I haven't been uploading uh, anything. It's, it's just been a very difficult two, three month process of getting everything that you own moved entirely back across the country, finding a place to live here because the real estate market here has exploded. Um, so it, it's just been difficult and I haven't had time to really make the content. And quite honestly, I haven't been in really a, a mental health space to where I felt like I needed to make content. On the motorcycle front, I was gonna make this a completely separate video, but we're just, we're, we're here, we're rolling, the camera's on, let's go with it. Um, so I decided to ship my motorcycles. Um, I actually, I was going to make, you know, I'm trying to, uh, I'll go ahead and talk about it here. I was going to make a separate, I will make a separate video, but I'm going to mention it here. Uh, about a month before we left, knowing that we were going to leave, I sold my uh, Ducati V4S. Yes, I sold it. Uh, it's gone. So the motorcycles I have left are my 2021 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special and my 2021 Pan America Special. And so I decided to ship them. We already had five vehicles to get from California to Nashville. We had all of our belongings. It's like, I, how do I do this easy? When you want to move, you know what I'm talking about. It's about making it easy. How, how, what's the easiest way? And if it's going to cost me a lot of money, I don't care. What's the easiest way? The easiest way was to ship them. So uh, my good buddy that you've seen on the channel, as Josh sees it, offered to help me with the process because we were already going to be gone when the semi-truck was coming to get them. Long story short, a little frustrated, um, they picked my motorcycles up, uh, what was it, May 3rd. It is now May 30th. I'm in Nashville. My motorcycles are not. 
They have missed both delivery windows. Now get this, this is this is crazy. This is in fact, I kind of look like Donald Trump and I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, this is crazy. So they've missed the windows for delivery twice now. Um, and I thought I was supposed to have them like a week, week and a half ago. So listen to this. About two weeks ago, I get an email. And it's been two and a half, three weeks since they picked them up. And then I get an email about a, was about a week ago. This said, hey, congratulations, your motorcycles are now at our uh, facility in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm like, you just picked them up in Orange County, California, two and a half, three weeks ago. What do you mean? They're just now in Las Vegas? So I, of course, threw a fit. Now, get this. So I get an email. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, I get an email that says that to update me on the delivery of my motorcycles. Get this. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. The bikes are right now in Las Vegas, letting me know that my bikes had left the Las Vegas facility and are now on their way to the facility in Florida. I'm like, what the fuck? You have to drive right past my house in Nashville, but they can't do that. They can't stop the trucks. Long story short, uh, we are sitting here without motorcycles. And I'm very seriously thinking about going and buying a motorcycle. And that will be another video coming up later in the week. Because I kind of feel like I want to replace the V4S, but I don't want the Ducati for reasons I've mentioned in other videos. Maybe pop that up there. Um, but we'll see. That's another video. Other changes? Yeah. Glasses. This is what happens when you, when you just get fucking old, I guess. So I went to get my eyes examined. I needed glasses a little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Um, so yeah, tons of life updates, tons of stuff going on. What does it mean for the channel? I'm excited to say uh, that it's going to mean tons of content coming to the channel. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I've heard, Steve, you've promised this in the past. It was kind of one of my things when we decided that we were going to move that I really wanted to, to make content for this channel. Um, and take it serious the way that I used to. So yes, as soon as my motorcycles get here, we're going to have tons of motorcycle content. Uh, maybe go buy a new motorcycle. We'll see. Um, and talk about life here in, in Nashville. So uh, I'm going to be introducing you guys to some of my friends here that yes, there are you know some celebrities and friends from the music business and the film business and all that, tons of motorcycle content. I've got a lot planned and there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. So I'm glad that you guys are here. I wanted to pop this video up. It's much longer than I intended it to be, but as always, I'm long-winded and my videos are long. So thank you guys for being here. That's what's going on. We have left California. We aren't leaving California. So a little bit of clickbait there. We've left California. What I do wanna say before I get out of here, is that moving to California uh, was one of the best experiences of my life, personally, professionally. Um, I love every single client that I have out there, the projects that we're working on out there. Um, I appreciate all of them understanding that I needed to do what I needed to do for my family and sticking with my company, even though I'm going to be in Nashville. I've got two or three other crews in Southern California, so everything's being covered. But I appreciate that we have that kind of personal relationship that they understood that I needed to do this for my family. My kids missed home. Uh, my daughter wanted to go back to the high school that she left and graduate with all of her friends. And look, when you're a dad, when you're a husband and you are the head of your household or you're responsible for taking care of everybody, that doesn't just mean financially. It means emotionally as well. So when you've got three people in your family that say, we just, we don't want to be here. We want to be home. Um, you got to listen to that and you got to do it regardless. Don't get me wrong. I love Southern California. I'm looking forward to being there one week a month. Uh, we're still going to be shooting some content there. I'll be doing motorcycle content there as well. Um, it's just going to be a mix of both here in Nashville, but also there in Southern California. So that's what's going on. We've left California. We now live back in Nashville, Tennessee, home. And more than ever, I think I understand the value of being home. This mental health thing is, is a real thing. 
So again, I didn't want to, we're not leaving California because we hate the state of California. Or we hate the governor. Or we hate this or we hate that. We made the decision that was right for us. I can't wait to, to see what this is going to mean for the channel and the kind of content that we're going to make together. Uh, and and it, it's just going to be, I want to have fun. I don't want it to be a job. I want it to be fun. And I want it to be fun for me. I want it to be fun for you guys. So here we go. More videos are coming. Thinking about buying a new motorcycle, we'll do that one. Also, I just bought a new Toyota Tacoma. I'm gonna be doing some build on that as well. Maybe get your guys' opinion as well. And speaking of opinion, if there's anything you guys wanna see, be sure and drop that down in the comment section below. Uh, what kind of content you guys want other than music business content. I'm not making music business content uh, anymore. Maybe we'll get into filmmaking and some stuff like that. Speaking of, I want to show you guys something. I just picked up a, a, a new toy that I'm really, really, really excited about. Check this out. So we've got the Sony FX9. I just picked up the Sony FX6. So yeah. Tons of content uh, that we can make for sure. Tons of new toys, tons of stuff. Maybe a new motorcycle, we'll see about that as well. Anyway, guys, look, listen. Again, sorry for such a long video. I didn't mean for it to turn out and, uh, and be this long, but hey, it is what it is. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram, like this video, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.